Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do a reversed painting using this 3D paint. So I didn't, at this stage I weren't sure what style I was going for. Um, and I'm going to top it up with Jesmonite and see if it pulls away and how it turns out. This is going to be great for any future product projects if it works. So let's go. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, so reverse painting, um, I had to do a few YouTube checks on this um, just to see how it goes, but it is just literally trying to paint backwards because when you flip it around, you don't want this to be showing in a different way. So this is what I'm doing. I'm doing the lining first and then I build colour underneath. Um, I wanted to do layers. I wanted it to blend really, really well um, and I wanted flowers. Now, um, again, these are quite old. I've had these a while. So I'm literally going through my whole inventory of products that I've got to see what goes with what and seeing how it all turns out. So it's kind of, bit of a, been a bit of a tester at the moment. Um, I've currently also joined the gym. I know this is completely off record, um, but I've got a bit behind. Normally I'm ahead with my videos, so I'm literally working to the point at the minute. So I'm hoping that once everything settles that I will be ahead again and I will know where I am. So this piece I had to do um, and because I love painting, um, I love being creative, I wanted to be able to do this and see if this works with the Jesmonite. I am so pleased with how this has turned out. Now this was meant to be a bit of a rose, but remember this is 3D, 3D paint that I'm using. Um, I know my acrylics um, when I'm trying to do reversed painting on a mould kind of repels. Um, it didn't work as well as this so I wanted to know if these would work. So this is not even a test run. This is this is me doing it, recording it and if it works it works. If it don't it don't. I'm not afraid to show you what fails. Um, so this is just doing flowers, making a design in a reversed way um, and I was absolutely really pleased. Then I decided to add a bit of rose gold leaf in areas. Now I did do the jesmonite. To get this colour I have put in a blue mica powder and a um, dark grey mica powder, just a little bit. Um, I forgot to press record on that bit so I do apologise but this is the hardest part. That paint that I've just done with the reverse painting is wet. I didn't want to disturb it. I didn't want to wreck it in any way. So doing this part is so, so dead gentle. Um, I knew I was going to get air bubbles. I knew I was going to get texture, but I just did not want it to ruin that that painting underneath. I didn't want it to all just mix in with the jesmonite because I knew it was wet. Now, ideally, I should have just waited for it to dry um, and see if, again, it would move and pull away. Um, but I think it would stick to the mould if I left it. So I think this was probably the better option of actually pouring the jesmonite while it's wet. This is me just clearing any air bubbles because I knew I hadn't painted on that area and then just tapping it. Um, again, I just didn't want to shimmy it. I didn't want to make it like move too much. I know that there's air bubbles there. Um, it's jesmonite. Um, unless you are going to have a proper vibrating plate, I think we're going to get air bubbles throughout. So for me, it's made with love and not perfection, as Claire keeps saying. I love it. I love that word. So this is me just showing that there is air bubbles in this. Um, but it just had to stay. I could sand them out. It wouldn't be a problem. And when I flipped this round, I was so, so excited. I could see how beautiful they were. Now, this is me just checking if it was dry. If I'd pressed my finger and it spread, I knew that I was going to have an issue. Um, so it weren't doing that. So again, I was happy with the result of the reversed painting. And then I flipped this off. Oh my God. Although there was some paint transfer on the mould, I love the texture this left. It did dip, so there was like holes. Remember, I am using 3D painting and it is slight, sorry, paint, and it is slightly wet, um, but it is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love how this turned out. Now, this is just me cleaning that wipe with, a uh, wipe? <laughs> cleaning the mold with a wipe, cleaning up. I love to be clean, I don't like mess, but I just wanted to show you that it was quick and easy to wipe off if you did it fast. Loved it. 
Now I left it 24 hours to dry because I knew it wasn't dry, but you can see the textures in this tray where the 3D paint had caused a dip, but I love it, absolutely love the textures. However, I did go for a resin finish. So I did do a resin top coat on this to seal it and protect it. Um, I actually poured my B before my A. Um, I found somebody mentioned that it was easier to mix um, with the A going on top. I didn't find any difference. Um, I think I'll just go back to doing what it should do. Um, but I just mix this in just to use a small amount. So literally 40A, 40B on my Let's Resin as a top coat. And I pop that into this mould. And then use a air blower, so a heat gun, to be able to pop any air bubbles out of it. But oh, I absolutely love this tray. I love the painting. I am going to challenge myself to do something a little bit more technical. What would you like to see? If you're still here, pop in the comments. What sort of things would you do if you had the skill to be able to paint 3D in reverse into a jesmonite tray? Um, I can even probably do handwriting. However, that's just cheating. I've got a cricket to be able to put vinyl on. But absolutely love it. But thank you for being here. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye-bye and see you next time.